Hey, DVR Tech here to talk about firewalls and Uverse Gigapower. For a little background, AT&T's Gigapower solution generally involves two pieces. An optical network terminal, where the actual fiber converts off to Ethernet, and the AT&T provided modem. Now you may think, great, they provide a, a firewall modem solution that has Wi-Fi, that's awesome, what else do we need? The problem with their solution though is that the firewall really lacks some basic functionality like UPnP. It requires manual mapping of uh, exposed ports for things like your Xbox. Maybe most painful though is that you can only assign one public IP to one device through the modem's built-in mapping functionality. It also has a relatively low number of maximum number of connections. So I know a lot of you are going to look at this and say, wow, there's 8,192 connections. That's quite a bit. But when you consider how many connected devices there are today, and the fact that they offer static IPs, so we can do some very limited personal hosting, um, things of that nature, that's really not that great of a number. Not only that, but if we hook up our own router to the modem in their IP pass-through mode, it's still using that same number of connections and it's still basically double natting once through the modem's NAT table and then into our modem. What is a little different about their implementation is that our firewall router actually gets a public IP address from their modem. Now it's being natted through so that's a little different than maybe when we say double NAT, as the, the firewall we're hooking up still gets a public IP address, but if we look at the connection screen, we'll see that our connections are going through the at and provided modems NAT table. Now what I'm going to do is add a Juniper Layer 3 switch into the setup here and enable the cascaded router functionality of the modem. Now in theory this might bypass the internal NAT table. So I'm going to start by enabling IP pass-through. Once we do that, we go over to the cascaded router. You notice the address is 0000? That's because it's going to be receiving the actual DHCP address from AT&T. So now on my Juniper switch, I am creating a Layer 3 interface with a DHCP client listening on it to receive the AT&T address. And then I'm creating an interface with the first usable IP from my IP block. By default, it's going to do routing now from the IP address I gave it on my public block over to the DHCP address and then out to the internet. And this is all working perfectly. I've been able to get online and I can verify that my IP address is one of the statics that I've assigned to my firewall. Now our at and modem is still available and when we go back in there to look, we see that our sessions are indeed still going through the NAT table of the modem, even though we're in cascaded router configuration. There you go, DVR Tech here. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.